<laughs> Yo, FlexCast, we're back, man, with our next guest. And I told y'all, we talked to the movers, the shakers, the tastemakers. Uh, this guy definitely is a tastemaker. He fits the description. I appreciate him taking time out of his schedule to come by and talk to us. Go ahead, introduce, tell the people where you're from, what you do, and we're going to get into it, man. Greetings. Uh, <laughs> my name is Michael Blaylark, a.k.a. the Chicken God. Chicken God. <laughs> the Chicken God. Yeah. I kind of, I deem myself that, but it's stuck. Um, <laughs> I'm from Austin, Texas, born and raised, um, third generation. Okay. Um, from the east side, 02, 78702, stand up. Okay. Um, okay. Yes, mm-hmm. most definitely. Uh, I'm 43 years old. I'm a father of seven. Woo. Uh, grandfather of three. So uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> yes, ma'am. I've been doing it for a while. Uh, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot going on. Um, I'm, t- I'm a two-time felon, um, state and uh, federal penitentiary. Okay. I've been home. 13 years now. Okay. okay. You got to say. We're not going uh, back. Never. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. Everybody clap it up for Michael, man. <laughs> yes. So, I, Gossip Shack has been an Austin favorite for a while. And when I knew you were going to be coming up here, one of the questions that I wanted to ask, man, was like, how did it go from an idea to something that was like a tangible resource for people? Because there's not a lot of soul food options in the city. Mm-hmm. And you've taken Gossip Shack from like, I'm sure, you know, at some point it was an idea on pen and paper or Never. You know, maybe just, I'm not, but you know, however the idea came up. And then how did it go from that to this? Mm. So revert back to those seven kids. <laughs> I, I'm going to speak on those. Um, I've always worked for someone, but I learned not to work for it. Uh, when I came home from prison, I became a, uh, I was in sales and time on the cable and sold cable. I did everything. I went from agent to supervisor, from supervisor to operation manager, okay. to from operation managers to the, the company closed down basically. So um, I know I can, I've employed most of the city. So I, I kind of got um, a foot up, I, if you say, uh, to know a, a lot of people and to know uh, that I can hire and train and teach people. And so yes. I went, I said, I'm going to work for myself. I don't okay. want to work for nobody else. That so was, it, was an, it was an intentional decision to say, yeah. hey, I, I'm done working for someone else. Most definitely. I love that. It was the stupidest thing I could have done. <laughs> <laughs> I, I jumped out there. I quit. My guy, I'm going to work for myself. Yeah, okay. I don't, it's the third. So I got 27 <laughs> days to figure it out. Okay. Um, I, I, I like coffee. So I started a coffee company is what, ended up, what really happened. Uh, I did some research. Coffee was the number one trending beverage in the world other than water. Oh. There are 10,000 black-owned coffee companies, which is not a lot. That sounds mm-hmm. a lot. It's not a lot. Yeah. So I said, let me step in that lane. I jumped out there. I was doing coffee from the house. I was sending cup for cup, making coffee off my coffee pot. That's illegal. Don't never tell nobody I did that. Mm-hmm. It's very, but my house is very clean, so <laughs> it's cleaner than a lot. Um, so I started doing that and got into a building, to a brick and mortar, brick and mortar, and Coffee don't sell that fast, and the rent came way faster. Me and mom were looking at each other because my mom was like, I'm, I got you, whatever. I'm a mama's boy. I'm only a child. Okay. So I got you. So she was like, well, baby, we, we got to do a little something to pay the bills, something a little different. I said, what you think? She said, maybe a little chicken and waffles. I said, right, that's cool. I don't cook. I don't know how to cook chicken. Mm-hmm. I don't even eat chicken on the bone. Okay. Yeah, right. No, that is just. <laughs> my grandma nuggets? my grandma used to actually green chicken necks mm-hmm. and pop in the country oh, so i used yeah, to have to no. pull the feathers watch her gut clean so pull the feathers me. yeah not for he me traumatized. You know, he's traumatized don't serve me that i just picked it up and was <laughs> just playing saw with that. no i saw that <laughs> it's different from when i opened this bag and wash it but get on point um so she taught me how to cook chicken that day and we got a little a little bag of chicken from the across the street from the little uh mexican market and got a little fryer from Walmart, and we cooked it up Ill- illegally again. No fry, no vent hood or anything, because it's a coffee shop. You can't sell food mm-hmm. there uh, unless you have a vent hood. In the- but anyways, we was, we were on Rocky and Maynard. Uh, they were trapping. We were trapping. Mm-hmm. We kind of just did it hey. together, mm-hmm. and that's it went from there. And we Trappers got to eat. They loved it. <laughs> when I tell you they came and got that chicken they, every day, they came and got the chicken and Kool-Aid that you called it. It's not Kool-Aid. <laughs> the gossip aid. The gossip yeah. aid. We don't talk about that in a second. The, yeah, that yeah. crack. You know, so they they kept coming. They said, this is good, mama. We didn't sold not one cup of coffee yet. Okay. <laughs> not <laughs> one. <laughs> no. So it took off. So okay. that's where it came from. I love uh, it. We went there and it, and it blew up. I love it. That is so awesome. And y'all are located right next to my favorite place in the world, Mr. Gaddy's, right? 
Yeah, we next to Mr. Gaddy's. Shout out, Mr. Gaddy's. <laughs> you're important too. I'm just making sure everyone understands the location, so you're not we're in Maynard about anymore. Gospel Shack, yeah. <laughs> you're we're not all, in the Maynard area anymore. No, man, we're in Pflugerville now. <laughs> um, no, no disrespect to the northeast side. It's gentrified, but not gentrified enough in that one part. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were being slumlorded. We were already doing things not properly, but when okay. we start doing things properly, we mm-hmm. noticed that they were gonna do it properly. So now you're getting slumlorded. So mm-hmm. now we're gonna go pay the rent. Out here, take a chance, take a bigger, bigger chance for right. big rent. Now you mm-hmm. go pay big boy rent, and you got to have insurance, and you got to have health inspectors. Mm-hmm. Shout out, Miss Olympia. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta start, you gotta start paying the things, or you gonna get in trouble. For sure. Yeah. Okay. 